Okay, so I wanted <clears throat> to do this because, like, I found a bunch of people that want the armor that they showed in the trailer. So, and I know uh, I wanted to show you step by step because, like, all the rest of the other stuff I found, it's like they just like put it in text or they like give you like a rough kind of explanation as to where it is. And I wanted to show step by step. I also know where to get the two handed sword that he used in the trailer. But as for like the staff and daggers, whatever, not a clue. But this is mine. And I can show you where to get <clears throat> most of this. The axe I actually found, I don't remember where, but this is not even part of it. Anyway, um, oh right, I'm already in the ammo graves. So, to get the, uh, this helmet, wait, there we go, you're gonna, uh, gonna wanna go and kill the dragon in the emerald graves, which I believe is, I believe is around around here. So hold on. How about that? Another great bear. <laughs> these things these things are actually really hard to come by. But for some reason I'm actually having luck in this area, so yeah, I guess if you want to get some great bear hide <coughs> great bear hide, um that's how I got the black color on my coat. Um just come here. And uh I guess they spawn here pretty efficiently because this is, the, this is where I found mine the first time so that time. Last time I got like nine or seven or some shit. No. Leave me alone. Um, okay, maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to look it up again. But there is a dragon in the Emerald Graves. You have to kill it and he'll, he'll drop the helm of the Inquisitor, which is what I'm wearing right now. And oh my god, I'm about to get killed. I can fight those things, I just don't want to fight them right now. So the dragon is here. Um, it's not here for me because I already killed it, obviously. But it is right over here, over this hill, right there. Should be right around here. You kill it. And he'll drop the helm of the Inquisitor. That's where you get the helmet. And it is right around here, which is so. If you have all the camps, you go from the closest you can get is the Dire Stone Camp, and you go from there. And yeah. But I mean, if you're like just starting out, I you might want to leave it alone for a bit because it is a level 17 dragon so I wouldn't recommend fighting it until you're at least level 17 or 18 18 preferably because I fought it when I was at level 17 and I mean I didn't have much difficulty with it but then again I had some pretty good equipment on 
the hissing waste are where are they? Right here. <coughs> this is where you will find the armor sets for. And it is right here in this like black line here. It's a canyon. There's a merchant right there that sells them. Closest is the canyon camp. See canyon. Now I believe you get in the hissing ways through. Um, you have to get the sky hole first in order to get any of this. Any the hissing ways, I believe, is a war table thing. It's something to do with Venatori, like taking out the Venatori out of the west or something like that, and it'll bring you here in the hissing ways. And she floats when you spawn here for some what? reason. I don't know why. Um, you can uh, just jump down there and almost die in the process if you want. Or you can get on your mount. God, that's a creepy sound. It's kind of like caribou. I mean, caribous are, you know, beautiful creatures just as this thing is. But the sound they make is gives you goosebumps. But as far as I know, the mounts don't die um, even if you drop from like 100 feet in the air. So you just drop down here. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you go to the, uh, the merchant over here. There's usually, most of the time, spiders here. See, there's one over there. Um, and you just, yeah, you have to kill him, and it's, yeah, you don't receive any damage from the fall if you're on a mount, and the armor sets are here, and you don't want to get, uh, just like this, you want to get the schematic for it, so it would, so that you can do the upgrades and make as much room as you want, and for, I know for the warrior, it is the sturdy battlemaster armor, if I remember correctly, and uh, the mage, I believe it is the sturdy battle mage armor. Rogue is the sturdy prowler armor. I'm assuming this, by the way. Um, because I'm a warrior, as you can see. Um, and I'm, I'm just assuming this because it's, it's the sturdy stuff for the warrior. So I'm assuming it would be the same way with the rogue. And actually, I know for a fact that it is the prowler uh, stuff for the rogue. Because uh, someone online, I read it, he said that it was the prowler armor. So, but I th think it's the sturdy prowler armor. I don't know. Um, because for one thing, it, it costs more. And you know the old saying, you get what you pay for. So I would go with the sturdy prowler armor. And for the upgrades, you're going to want to get the Battlemaster uh, armor arms and legs. And for the mages and the rogues, it'll be the prowler stuff. So it'll be these and then these. And that's where you get the armor sets from. And now for the sword, two-handed sword, that, if I remember correctly, was from the trailer. Um, you get that from the western approach. It, you actually have to um, take over the keep first for, uh, the, like, for the merchant and all this stuff to show up. But um, it is in the western approach, just to make sure. You know, to and again, you have to go to uh, Skyhold in order to find this stuff. And you have to go through the war table, the quest on the war table, um, that to go to these places. The Hissing Waste, I believe, is, like I said, getting the Venatory out of the West or something like that and then the Western Approach one is actually 
called that uh, something something with the Western approach. And the merchant here sells the two-handed sword from the trailer, though you'll probably find something better than that um, roughly quickly. What do you think happens if you... I believe I sense one of the artifacts of my people. He keeps saying that every single time I go here. And, yeah. It'll be right here. And it's right here. The Refined Greatsword. This is the one that I saw from the trailer. It's a two-handed sword for warrior, obviously. And you can't do any upgrades for it, unfortunately. Um, these are the stats. Uh, about the only upgrade you can do for it is a rune, unfortunately. Because, I mean, it is a pretty badass looking sword. I wish that I can upgrade it and make it better, but... But yeah, that's uh, that's where you get that from. As for the other weapons, I don't know because, well, you know, I am uh, not a major rogue, so. But I'm, I, 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 I won't even really say that they showed the staffs and the daggers in the trailer. Come take a look. Just at least not. The at least not a, a good, uh, you know like visual representation of those weapons anyway but there you have it oh and also for the armor if you want to get it to um, I mean it, it really all depends on your color taste and what you want it to look like <coughs> but for me um, I actually think the clothing part of it actually was uh, the gray bear hide it, which is gives it a black color. I actually think that was the color from the trailer. Um, the red part where I have it, um, that was actually like an orange kind of color, like a goldish. It was kind of like a goldish orange. Um, that one is actually a masterwork color. So it's it's some kind of masterwork uh, thing. And to get the masterwork stuff, you need Dagna, which was from Dragon Age Origins. I'm not sure if you have to do a War Table mission or not. I, I did a lot of War Table missions. I didn't even pay attention to them. I just did them because they were there. But uh, Dagna will show up eventually in the Underforge in Skyhold, and she does the masterwork stuff. And for the armor part, you... I would suggest using Silverite. In fact, I highly recommend it because, for one thing, it really brings out the armor part, makes it show a lot more, and it increases the stat of the armor to its maximum, which is 253. That's that's the maximum that this armor can go without using Dragon Bone. The Dragon Bone will bring it up to 280. But I think you can pretty much assume why it's so hard to get Dragon Bone. And, uh, yeah, that's that's where you get the stuff from. Um, good luck getting it. It's about the only advice I can tell you. I mean, it, it's, it's not extremely difficult to get, but uh, it is a little time-consuming. So, yeah, but trust me, it, it's worth it, you know.